Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I kind of want to do like a binder admin type of video. I have a few friends on here who are doing these videos kind of often where they like go through their binders and kind of like set up for new comebacks or they reorganize and like just in general talk about their collection and like where it's gonna go. <laughs> and I really enjoy watching those videos so I thought I might try one myself especially because recently my content has been so slow because all of the stuff I need for my content is like at my Korean address and I'm still waiting for some things to <laughs> arrive to my Korean address before I can really like uh, ship it out and start filming obviously. So I asked on my Instagram if that was something like people would be interested in watching and it seems like at least a few people would. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I uh, have to set up for a couple of comebacks. Yena is having a comeback and oh my god she has so many freaking photo cards. And Seventeen had a comeback and also um, Billy had a comeback and they released a ton of pops as usual. So yeah, let's just get into it. At first I want to talk about Yena. So here is my like girl groups binder where I keep most of Yena. So recently what I've been doing is, oh did you see that? I just like got it in one go. Anyways, um, so I've been keeping most of her album photo cards here in my Goku binder since in my head I was like, um, like yes, she's post Ice One member, but I want to collect everything for her, and I'm not collecting everything for everyone else post Ice One, so I want to keep her for herself. But then she was kind of missing in the post Ice One binder, which is this one. Let me show you what I ended up doing. So I put those like heart trading cards. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, uh, in the post Ice One binder. But I'm I'm honestly kind of thinking either moving all of her album cards into here or moving all of them into the post ice one binder yeah i don't know because it's it's so stupid the way my brain works like when it comes to this also so sorry if you can hear my dog in the background she's been extremely wild today i don't understand but whatever but like the thing is if i moved all of her album cards into here then like it's not like she would be completely missing from the other binder because i would still keep her non-albums cards in there but it's also like do i have to keep her in there because i don't keep no one in there because she's like an exception <laughs> i don't know for now i think i'm gonna try and put everything in here and just keep her non-album stuff in the post ice one binder but let me know what you guys think if you have like any opinion on this please please share it with me but yeah, so I'm gonna put in the heart trading cards in here. Also, I haven't filmed a video like this before. Like, I've filmed reorganizing videos and I've also filmed setting up videos. But not like specifically like this, so I'm sorry if it's like a little rusty. <laughs> so I'm gonna be moving these in here and I, um, they're missing some white sleeves because I actually found trades for those. So I just went ahead and took them out. So I'm actually only missing one card for this, and I will be complete with this one. So, um... Oh, I had them in the wrong order. <laughs> Honestly, it's a sleigh. I'm so happy to be making some progress, because... I mean, like I said, she's having a comeback, and I haven't really made any progress <laughs> since the album came out. Um, so I'm kind of behind. But I did find um, a trade for like four of her cards. So let me actually show you. See, I took some white sleeves out to um, signify that like they were on the way. So that's very, very exciting. But anyways, for her new comeback, oh my god. She took a look at what NB has been doing. And she thought, you know what, let me do that. You know the one out of 20 photo cards that Unbi has been doing for both of her releases? Insane. Literally insane. Um, so Yena has two album versions. And for the regular photo cards, also so sorry. Like, I'm sorry I'm interrupting myself, but my neighbors are kind of loud right now. And my window is open because it's so warm. There's like a heat wave. It's going to be the warmest day 
ever in Denmark today. <laughs> so, um, so sorry, but I really, I need this to survive. Um, but she has two album versions. All right, I think they're done. <laughs> I just like abruptly stopped because they were right outside of my window and they could hear me. Nina! Now my cat is the problem. Nobody wants me to film this video. <laughs> Alright, I don't even remember what I was saying, so I'm just gonna start over. Um, Yena is having a comeback. <laughs> and um, she has two versions, and in every album, um, you get one out of 12 photo cards. So you have to multiply that. <laughs> And that means you get, if you buy a set, you buy, or you get two regular album photo cards out of 24. That is, that should be illegal. Like, literally illegal. And um, on top of that, there are also some other photo card size inclusions. So there are some clear photo cards. There are six of those in total, so you get one out of three, which is fine. And then there are some holographic photo cards, kind of like there were for the last album. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit out of it right now. But like these ones. And for that one, you get one out of six. So there are 12 in total. This is a lot of inclusions and I wasn't really sure how I was going to fit it on like the pages. Because the thing is for her last, her last comeback, like there were six regular album photo cards per version and then I got a pop so I could make like a really sexy seven layout. Mina do not eat that. Thomas eating tape. So I could make like a really pretty seven layout um, and then for the holo cards there were like eight so that also filled up a page but when there's 12 that's like more <laughs> than a nine pocket page which is super annoying. Really freaking annoying. So I decided what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join group orders so that I'll get four pops in total and then I'll make- oh my god, that was my cat. Um, then I'll make like four, seven layout pages for like the regular album photo cards. I hope that like that makes sense. Again, I'm gonna like visualize it. I did make some placeholders and I made them off camera because I knew I wasn't gonna put that much effort into them. Um, so like, why do it on camera? Um, they're, they just like look like this. <laughs> um, they don't have to be pretty. Like, I don't really care that much uh, to be honest with you. But let me get my pages and let's start actually setting up for this. So we're gonna need four pages for the regular album photo cards. So one, two, three, four. And then I want to do two pages of the rest of the cards and I'll like show you what I want to do with that. So that's quite a lot of new Yena stuff. <laughs> um, we're going to be adding a lot of pages to this binder. So I'm guessing I'm going to put the pop in the middle. I'm hoping that it'll be kind of like her last comeback where there were like set um, concepts. Let me show you. So like each version had like concepts that went with it and for the photo cards she would do like two of one, two of another, and then like two of the third one. So I'm kind of hoping that it'll be similar to that just because that will make my layout a lot better. And I hope that the pops will also match because that, again, <laughs> will make my layout a lot better. She dropped the teasers yesterday for the comeback and it just, it looks so freaking good. Like in one of them, she's wearing like a crocheted, I think it's crochet, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on it, but it's like, it's so pretty. <laughs> and it's like a set and it's made out of those like, in Denmark, we call it like a grandma blanket, um, but like those little squares that like you put together and then they form something to make like her outfit. And it's so, so pretty. I love it so much. But, like it's so, so pretty. Like, and also she has a teddy bear in one of the like um, concept photos that she posted. <sighs> you know what that means. That means there's going to be a teddy bear photo card and... You know it's gonna be difficult as frick to get that 
So really, really fun. Love that for me and for everyone else. We really are just so lucky. <laughs> now, I know it sounds like I'm complaining, but like I genuinely love teddy bear cards. Like they're hyped for a reason. And that reason is that they're freaking cute. <laughs> um, so I'm not complaining, but I really hope that I pull it because it's going to be like impossible to get. Oh my god. What's with my pages today? I was struggling. I, I'm like, I probably cut out me like doing the top for this one because like it's, <clears throat> it's not good. <laughs> Why am I one handing this again? God, I'm sorry if I'm a little out of it today, by the way. Um, I haven't filmed in a while. Again, because I haven't had anything to film. So it's, uh, it's every time I take like a break of like two weeks or something from filming, I'll have to like get into it again, you know? And uh, it doesn't make it better that the thing with my neighbor happened and my cat being a nuisance. So yeah, but I have the feeling that you guys like my cat. Oh my God, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> um, every time she features in a video, you guys are like, oh my god, Mina. <laughs> Am I good you? She's literally my whole world, actually. Like, not to be dramatic, but if anything happened to her, that's not suitable for the internet. Let's not say that. That's not a good joke. But yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, the two smart pages. They're gonna look great when they're filled up. I just know it. I'm gonna do the other two off camera and come back to you. All right, so I put in the phone cards as well, or not cards, placeholders. Um, and I don't know if you can tell, but like I made these really late last night. So <laughs> I made a few mistakes, but it's okay. Um, so this is what it's gonna look like. I alternate it, the seven, like the fillers, uh, just for fun. I know some people do it to like make sure that the gravity is uh, distributed differently. I don't, I don't understand and I don't care. <laughs> so for the other cards, it's very convenient that there are six hollows per version and three clears per version. Do you know where we're going with this? I think, I think you do know where we're going with this. We are going to fill up a nine pocket page and we love to see it absolutely like i love seven layouts and eight layouts a lot and i love the like this six layout not so much the other one but like where it fills up the corners but nine pockets like filled out nine pockets there's just something so sexy about that like nothing beats that really when you can fill out an entire nine pocket and it just matches and it looks so good like nothing will ever beat that and i will be like putting these clear sleeves in or clear cards in white sleeves just so you can see them better but i'm gonna wait until i have the clear cards before i put them in those sleeves i'm not gonna put them in here so that's it for this smart and then the last thing we're gonna do is the phone set. So once again, same exact layout. I really do appreciate the amount of these cards so that it like lines up nicely. No, she has already released like a lot of fan calls, but are we surprised at this point? Like, I understand why companies do all of these fan calls and like, they have like a separate pop for all of them. I understand. I really do. I get it. Because like album sales, you know, the more of these you do, the more you'll like sell. But <laughs> mm, capitalism, <laughs> not me complaining about capitalism on my channel where I literally show off what I buy. <laughs> um, not a moral lesson, not at all, but I do feel a little used sometimes. 
And it's bad because if I was like that upset about it, I could just stop spending money on it. But somehow I'm still doing it. I don't know. You know, you can complain about capitalism in my comments if you want to. I would love to hear your thoughts. In general, most things in my like videos when I'm talking about it, like I want to hear your thoughts. Like make a thread with like everything that you think about what I'm saying. I will read it and I will appreciate it. I promise, even if I disagree, for the most part, there are some things that I will not hear. Um, but yeah, that was it for the photo card size things. There are some um, four cut photos things, and I do want those. And I want to put them in a six pocket sleeve. You know, the ones where they're like vertical. Yeah, vertical. But I only have one of those and I'm going to use that in my Bugaboo binder. So I'm going to need a new one of those. So I'm going to go to the corner and order that as soon as I get paid. <laughs> but this is just a flip through of what my Yenna collection is going to be like. So the seven layouts with the regular album cards and also pops. And then hollows and clear cards in nine pockets. Yay! And then I think that's it for this binder. Um, there's not really that much in here recently. Oh, I also put in the full set of these. But yeah, because I dropped Kepler, there's like nothing in here. <laughs> um, only Cherry Bullet and Yenna for now. For now. But I'm not, um, I'm not gonna talk about that yet. Oh, Classy is also in here. Ooh, should we quickly take a look at Classy? So I have been doing some trading of the cards that I have, but I joined two group orders, one for Lives Across and one for Classes Over, and neither of those group orders have arrived to the group order managers, so I don't know my polls yet. Um, but I have been trading a little bit. As you can see this one is on the way. Um, this one is also on the way, so I'm just going to take that one out. And that one. And then I did set up for the Japanese debut. And I do have, I have Bowen's version and Hyeju's version. And then I have the limited and the regular all on the way. So we, we should be pretty set for classy. I love how active they are, but also like slow down, <laughs> please. Anyways, that was it for my girl group binder. Next up, I kind of want to take a look at my Dino binder. You know, I say Dino binder, but it's actually my boy group binder. But also, there's only two groups in here, and the majority is Dino. So it is my Dino binder. But I um I did some more decorating on the cover, and I don't know if I like it. Like, I like it, but also is it too much? I don't know. It doesn't matter. What we have to do for Dino is literally just put in some new placeholders for the new comeback. And you know what? It's so sexy, because there are like four cards literally just four cards so i'm gonna take out these white sleeves i don't even know why i bothered putting them in and i did join a group order but i'm not too optimistic for my polls unless like and i really really hope this because um chloe who's the group order manager uh they're also here on youtube she's also here on youtube um, she also collects Dino, so I'm kind of hoping that we only get Dino pulls, <laughs> just for the two of us, but, uh, I doubt it, so, and I'm obviously second when it comes to Dino pulls, because, like, she's the group order manager, and I am not mad about that, just, like, there's no beef, don't think there's beef, <laughs> um, I willingly joined a group order where I knew I was second, <laughs> Um, but I'm not too optimistic for my polls, but at least Dino is usually pretty easy. Like, he's easy enough to trade for, so I don't think it should be a problem, really. Unless I get Sinquan. Chloe, if you're if you're here, you are. I'm pretty sure you are. Uh, do not give me Sinquan polls, because I will keep them. So. And I, I, no. I shouldn't do that, you know? So, don't. If we get Sinquan, don't give it to me. I'm serious. <laughs> uh, this is a problem. I 
don't even know where this was supposed to go. I'm not very good at decorating. Stay. Okay, anyway. Honestly, I like my Dino collection right now. It's fine. I really, really do like it. Anyways, I think the last binder where I really have to do something is this one. And it is my old binder. So in here I have obviously Billy and Bugaboo. <laughs> the thing is, look at this. Like, half of my Ginga Minga Yo era cards are still not here because like uh, my group order manager for all of those still have not received the tower record stuff so <laughs> um like i don't even have half of my collection yet um, and the other half i do have but i haven't put them in yet because um you know i haven't really done a storing photo course video so all of this is just like empty <laughs> And now I'm setting up for the new era, so that's great. I did make placeholders, and I think I made for everything, but um, I'll get into it more when like, I set up, because there are some things that I'm like a little confused about. I don't even know how many pages I'm gonna need. I'm just gonna take like a handful. This should be enough. <laughs> Please be enough. God, Billy are so active. And the thing is, for this, I remember talking to a few of my friends and I was like, you know, I hope they do, like, even though it's just like a special single, that was before we knew about the physical release. Um, I was like, even though it's just like a special single, like, I hope that they do something like they did for Snowy Night, where they release some merch, the few like trading cards and stuff, this. <laughs> um, and then they did release an album, they released the platform album. And they released so many pops and lucky draws and merchandise. Why? Literally why? Like I love collecting. I love getting more cards and stuff. And it wasn't like, it's not like I was regretting every time I send money for a group order, but it was like, why? <laughs> like why for a single? Hopefully though, I do think they're done. Though I don't want to jinx it, so pretend I didn't say that. Um, but they did say the last fan call at least, and then they released another merch drop. Um, but I, I don't think they're gonna release much more at least. Oh, but also I think they've been like promoting on music shows, but I haven't seen any broadcast cards. I hope there aren't any. I honestly don't even know if I want to collect broadcast cards for Sean. I know I want to for Choyon, and I do have one on the way. We're gonna talk about Choyon after this. Um, but I don't know if I want them for Sean. Like, obviously I'm saying that I want to collect everything for her, but like, she's not as big of a priority as Choyon and Hyawan is. She's also like, so much more expensive. <laughs> like, everyone wants her. She's so, like, I've, I've been so lucky that I've been able to secure so many of her pops already you know i'm gonna put that in for now and then i can always put in more because like her spots in group orders they go like crazy so like i just consider myself extremely lucky um there are so many <laughs> album cards these are all of the things that you can get in the platform album so there's like five photo cards per member and I've just called them like A, B, C, D, E. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. If there are other YouTube collectors on here or like watching right now, please let me know if you have the same struggle with the top um, pockets. Because it's, it's embarrassing and I am struggling and I'm struggling in every video I feel. So I think, okay, so there's like a limited hollow that's kind of like, if you know NCT, it's like limited, um, like the special yearbook cards. And because it's Suyeon and she's so expensive, like I just said, I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna get it, so I'm kind of hoping that someone will do like replicas and then I'll be fine with that replica. 
Um, but I'm going to put that in the middle since I'm pretty sure it has like a, like a, a border that's like orange. That's her color. That's why the placeholders are in orange. Um, but I'm going to put that in, in the middle and I'm not getting my hopes up for getting that at all. So, I mean, if I do get it, then that's sexy and, you know, obviously I'm going to keep it, but... I'm not going to be sad if I don't get it. Like, replicas is going to be fine for me. Okay, so this is going to be the first page. And I'm just going to magically do the top pockets. There are so many pops. They always do so many pops. You know, I really appreciate Bugaboo for not doing as many. Even though, like, they needed more than Billy do. They don't do as many. Like, I appreciate that a lot. Also, this is so funny. One takes two. Like, it's because it's round, round two, but like, one takes two. I don't know. I thought that was funny. Don't cringe too much as me, at me. <laughs> the one thing about this era is that like, I don't think it's going to fill up as nicely as the other eras have done. Which does make me a little sad. Two full pages so far. Jeez. But like, the song... Like, can we just talk about the song? The song is so freaking cute. The song in the music video. Literally, I love it so much. It's like a... It's like inspired by Korean um, commercials. Like, back in the day. And it's just so freaking cute. Like, it looks so nice. And it has a really nice, like, retro feel to it. And I just love them. I really do. Also, my poor group order manager. Oh my god. So they released some merch with Dear My Muse. Um, and for this, there were these like key rings with photo cards of like the. If you know Billy, like there's some lore in their music videos and they have like these monsters. So far, there's Dream Vader and there is Snowy Man. Um, and they released these keychains with those two. And. Oh my god, I feel so bad for my gong. <laughs> um, but when my group one manager went to secure them, they were unavailable. Or the Dream Vader one was unavailable. And there were a lot of people that wanted it because obviously, like, first of all, it's hella cute. Second of all, like, it came with photo cards. So a lot of people wanted it, which I understand. I wanted it too. And then the Dream Vader one was sold out. Even though, like, it was pre-order. So, honestly, so weird. And then, um, out of, like, stress, <laughs> my group order manager just, like, stress secured, like, 17 of the Snowy Man ones, keychains, just so that at least we could get those. And it was fine, and they all got claimed. And then two days later, Dear My Muse sends them an email and says that... The quantity that they ordered, they can't get. They can only get one. Like, two days later, how did they mismanage their stock so badly? <sighs> I'm so upset. So now I don't have these two on the way. Um, and that's like, I think the only thing that I won't have on the way for this entire era. And of course, I'm not blaming my group order manager. Like, not at all. I'm just so upset at Do My Muse. Like, how? Literally how? Also, I think I'm missing one i'm pretty sure there's like one more for make star so i'm just gonna put this in here i had actually put too many oh my god slay <laughs> there were also some like bigger inclusions um like non-album inclusions but i'm not gonna sit up for those until i get them so um and then there's some seven ot7 things I've set up for another OT7 set that I want and then for Bugaboo so they had their comeback and there were two album cards which will go here for Choyon and then there were like okay let me count so there were five online fan signs and then there were two offline ones so that's seven pops and then free broadcasts and a lucky draw so that's 11 in total. So 
nine pockets. And then one more. And I'm gonna put in white sleeves like sometime. I'm not gonna do that right now. So I'm not gonna put in fillers because I have all of it on the way and I like for Bugaboo I can remember the order pretty well, or at least for Choyon. I said I had all of them on the way. I don't I am still missing two of the broadcast cards, but I do have week two, which is thanks to my friend Ed. I appreciate that so much. Like he went to the show um, and they didn't let him in because he was too tall, which is so freaking horrible. <laughs> um, but he did get a broadcast card and he got Choyon. So we like traded that broadcast card for an in shape Polaroid that I had. Um, so I, I just appreciate that so much. Ed, you're probably watching this. I love you, but you already know that. <laughs> And then I think I already set up for OT6. I didn't set up for OT6. Okay, so. There were just two sets, like I said. Um, and I think I should be able to finish them with the albums that I have. But I don't have them on hand yet. Everything is allowed my, like, k -Addy Because I'm gonna wait with having them sent and like consolidation and stuff until everything is at my Korean address just so I can like calculate it properly for everyone because I know that EMS is like a bitch right now so I like I want to make it as cost efficient as like humanly possible um so I'm gonna like wait until literally everything is there and they still haven't shipped out a few of um my like albums like the two last the stores they haven't shipped out yet and it's like they've shipped out to my bugaboo group order manager collector friends so like why haven't they shipped to me yet i'm gonna contact them if they don't ship out by the end of this week because like oh my god <laughs> july 3rd was the last fanzine so where are my albums? <laughs> and it's really stressful because like obviously I have other people's albums as well. <sighs> it's just so frustrating. Anyways, they have these like bookmarks kind of in the new album and I think they're gonna fit really nicely in this six pocket. And then they also have these IDs just for this era um, and I'm just gonna like continue them here. I do think that was all I wanted to do for this video. Um, like I said, I've never really done this type of video before, so I would greatly appreciate some feedback on how to maybe change it up in the future. Um, or if this is even something that you would like to see. And again, I'm sorry if I was kind of out of it today. <laughs> A lot of things happened and it's so warm. Like if you're living in Northern Europe, European. If you're living in Northern Europe right now, please stay hydrated and cool yourself down as much as possible. Like, <laughs> uh, we're not really used to these kind of temperatures and neither are our homes. They're like decorated or not decorated. They're designed to keep the heat in and most of them don't have built in like air conditions. So <laughs> it's, um, it's, a, it's a real big struggle. For us right now again because we're not really used to it so um if you live in northern europe like i'm so incredibly sorry and when i say northern europe i only i also mean like you know the uk and stuff not just scandinavia um so yeah please stay hydrated please stay cool down and let me know what you thought about this video i will see you in the next one which will hopefully be soon and will hopefully be a storing photo cards video so, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Subscribe, <laughs> like, and remember to turn on the notifications.